And in other news today, a recent study shows that intermittent fasting is actually ineffective at helping you reduce belly fat. So if you're looking to whittle that middle, folks, don't do intermittent fasting. Okay, you see that little thing up there, that reference to the scientific research as supposedly uh, support that I know what I'm talking about and that's based by solid scientific research that what I've just stated to you is true? Uh, yeah, I don't do that. And there's a very good reason why I don't do that. But of course, as you may imagine, a lot of people are like, Matt Shiverly in the Red Delta Project, he doesn't cite scientific evidence or research in his books, podcasts, and videos. Therefore, his methods are not based on science, and even Red Delta Project isn't even based on science. Which kind of makes me wonder, what would a fitness method that's not based on scientific merit at all even look like? Let's see, questions, email questions. Oh, here's one. Uh, Matt, I love your YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And you're also sexy as hell. I uh, nickel for every time I hear that one. Anyway, my question is, if I wanted to push my muscles hard enough to stimulate hypertrophy, but not so hard that it compromises recovery of the other set, how many repetitions should I leave in reserve? Hmm. Well, time to figure it out the old-fashioned way. <laughs> four. Four repetitions. Sounds about right. There we go. Send. Of course things here are based on scientific merit. They have to be. But that doesn't mean that they're a good quality. I mean, even the most cockamamie, worst diet and exercise methods out there are still based on a scrap of science here and there. In fact, that's how a lot of them actually get started. But instead, the reason why I don't do that is because I know enough to know that I don't know enough in order to legitimately and ethically present scientific research to you. See, if I were to do that, I would do exactly what I did to get to that study. Yes, it's a real study. There's a link down below. You can take a look at it and stuff. But basically, all I did was I'm like, all right, I got to make this video. Uh, I need some sort of scientific reference to some cockamamie, seemingly wacky idea. I don't know. Intermittent fasting makes you fatter. Google, show me what I want to see. Boom. And I got that, right? That's why I defer to the real experts like Eric Helms, Greg Knuckles, John Berardi, you know, Stronger by Science, resources like this. These are people who do have the decades of education and experience and the know-how to weed through the scientific literature and present it in a more legitimate ethical way and therefore I, that's why I pay for their services, they teach me and therefore I can base everything on the Red Delta Project off of what they have taught me, not what I'm just trying to do for my own research. And lastly, the reason why I don't claim to be like evidence-based and all that is because I honestly believe it's woefully inadequate. Because if the scientific literature and factual information was enough, then Problem solved. Just read a basic nutrition textbook and you would know everything you need basically about good healthy eating habits. Or an exercise physiology textbook. Just read it. Good. Now I know how to work out and build muscle and everything. But as someone who did study nutrition in college and read many of those textbooks and is certified as a credible personal trainer and has read books that are that thick to pass my certifications, I know from firsthand that you can memorize those books and still have no idea what the hell you're supposed to do in practical application for fitness. And that's because if the scientific research and stuff was enough, then knowing that would be enough. But it's not. Instead, we need the other half, which is creative problem solving. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a researcher. I'm a model builder. I build models that, yes, are based on scientific validity, but also have creative problem solving behind them for practical application to make fitness work in the real world. That's what grind style calisthenics and micro workouts and all that stuff is all about, is how do I actually make it work so that it can finally work for you. Hopefully that clarifies a few things for you. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.